gentlemen, sorry. Ladies and gentlemen, sorry. <laughs> I apologize for everything I've done. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your confab this evening, Mr. Dave Duncan. <laughs> Hello, Lancaster, how are we? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Whoa, oh, it's nice to see that so many of you have turned up to this fucking gala event. <laughs> I dressed up nice. This is my attempt at nice. I'll tell you all this because fuck it, it's not as if it's going to spread across campus now. Um, I, I have some black jeans that I was going to wear to the end look like I was fancy, but uh, I haven't worn them since like, the beginning of this term, and I've washed them and I just bunched them up so they just shrunk. And uh, there's nothing more sobering than just trying to get jeans just past your knees <laughs> and thinking that you've either put on weight or just like the entire world has like, decided that they hate you <laughs> through the medium of jeans. Hello, sir, what's your name? Hello, uh, that's fun. Stephen Dave. Stephen Dave. Stephen Dave. Okay, hello Stephen Dave. Have you finished your exams yet? Because I assume that's why no one's here. Yeah. Camera. Yeah? Yes. Have you? Okay, what was, your, what was your exam? Horrible. Horrible? Is that what it was in? Yes. Horror. Jack the Ripper. No Freddy Krueger. Yeah. The Babadook. <laughs> I'll name a fourth film. Aliens. There we go. And uh, what was it so bad? Because it's your degree. No, I don't want the exam go bad. I don't mean like the sad ramifications. I'm not good at exams, Steve. You've taken me down a hole here, Stephen. One that is upsetting for everyone involved. I'll move down. I'll move down. Uh, hello, hello, sir. What's your name? Hello, Roy. Hello, Roy. And uh, have you exams? Have your exams finished yet? No, Oh shit! Really? Yeah. What's your What's your degree? Math. Maths. Maths. Yo, you know, Roy. I'll help you study for this exam. What's your first exam? Differential equations, right. <laughs> Watch out for additions, Roy. Pretty hard. That's what I've learned. Hello, sir, what's your name? Hello, Jim. Have you finished your exams yet? I haven't started yet. You're first year. Lucky bastard. Okay. Jim, what is your, what's your degree in? For, oh, Jesus. Okay. And what's, what's your first exam in? Capitalism. What? Why? What's, what do you write? It's bad sometimes, other times iPods. I've solved it, Jim. That's a first. You write that, you write literally that sentence, you get up, and then you leave. And then you'll either have a first, or you won't be back here next year, you won't have to tell me off. So, win win either way. Hello, madam. Hello. Uh, have you done your exams? Uh, um, what, what, what do you do your exams in? Horror. Okay, what, what specifically was your exam question then? How crazy is Michael Myers? Pretty, pretty bad, you said, and then again, walked out of the exam. You couldn't, you can't even remember the... You suppress the questions. Well, I don't really remember my exam either, that's because uh, as soon as I finished my one exam. Uh, I, uh, it's good we alienate half the room at the very beginning of a gig. Uh, the, well, after I finished my one exam, I then went with my friend Jack and got uh, drunk for eight hours. Uh, I uh, drank about 12 pints. I do not remember going home. I woke up home. Uh, I, I turned off my phone, which is always a bad sign after you've been drinking, because it means that you know that you've done something bad. <laughs> But, you're, but like, even your drunk state is like, don't, don't, don't even open this fucking Pandora's box. <laughs> it's what I do with drunk text. If I ever send a drunk text to someone, I immediately delete it off my phone. <laughs> so I wake up and just have the ever, just the ever-present guilt. Along with the very clear signals. I'll talk to you. Hello, sir, what's your name? Mike. Hello, Mike. Have you finished your exam? I'm sorry. Oh, jeez, what year are you in? <sighs> it gets so much worse, Mike. <laughs> they say it gets better. It doesn't. What, what do you do as a degree? Mechatronics. Okay, so I was about to say, that's something like a ch ch children's Saturday morning cartoon. Like a robot dog. What's your, what's your first exam and I'll try to help? Maths. Maths. Please don't say it's differential equations, because as we've proven. Yeah. Yeah. Is, this just, is this an exam that half this uni does? What is a differential equation? That's not going to be funny, but I won't even bother. <laughs> hello, hello, hello madam there. What's your name? Hello, Chloe, and uh, have you started your exams yet? First year? There's a thing! <laughs> and what do you do as a degree? Counting in finance. Counting in finance, if there's a fucking... <laughs> <laughs> What's your exam in? Accounting! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Fuck it. <laughs> sir at the back over there. The far back. What's your name, sir? Jack. Hello, Jack. What's your degree in? Uh, politics. Yeah, let's go with this. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, have you started your exams yet? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, I, how far are you? How many have you got left? Uh, just one left on differential equation. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell! Final last one, last person. Um, hello, 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 sir. You, yes. Um, what's your name? Jack. Hello. <laughs> not a very, not, not a very imaginative group of names. Um, so, uh, what's your? Have you started your exams first off? No. Okay, first year. Okay. Um, what's your degree? Mechanical <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Jesus! Can someone just say English so I can just razz them? What's your first exam? Is it sums? Is someone in not doing sums for their exam? Hello, madam. Have you started your exams? I have no exams. You have no exams? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your degree in? Social work. Okay, that seems like a relatively nice thing to do. I can't really insult that. <laughs> someone else that I can insult and be rude to. Sir at the back. Hi. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Michael. Hello, Michael. How many exams have you got left? One. Just the one. And what's your degree in? Philosophy. Okay, so what's your last exam on? Uh, history of philosophy. History of philosophy? I don't know. Just say people thought for a bit. <laughs> they were like, oh, is life worth living? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you do that exact sound. <laughs> and then go, no. And then walk out the exam. All these exams can be finished with one sentence. Michael, when is your exam? Uh, Saturday. Saturday. What time? 9.30 in the morning. Right, I won't be up for them, but I will turn up outside your exam. So how long is it? Two hours. Right, I'll turn up at half eleven, and I will ask you if you've written your one sentence. <laughs> and then if you haven't, I will personally go to the exam board themselves. Do you want me just to wait and arrive there? Because I'm walking out after one sentence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, basically. <laughs> <laughs> exam will start at half nine. You will finish at twenty-five to ten. <laughs> You will wait there for me to wake up <laughs> at four in the afternoon, <laughs> and then we'll be done. <laughs> okay, basically, yeah, what, what a high I just did that one. I'm just insulting everyone for their exam. I'm just going to talk to you. Hello, sir. What's, I've already talked to you, haven't I, Jim? Yeah. yeah, hello, sir. Hi. What's your exam? Economics. Fuck off. Okay. <laughs> right, okay, so this CCC is a little different from normal CCCs in that this one will be entirely improvised. The performers I've got with me have no idea what they're going to be saying. Hopefully it's good. If it's not, we'll apologise and refund you all of the money you've spent coming here. <laughs> but uh, what I'm going to need all of you to do is uh, I'm going to need an audience that speaks to me, an audience that gives that suggestion. So I'm going to try and interact and make sure that you're all you know, ready to talk. So. After the count of three, I want you to all say uh, your name. So, three, two, one. Your name. A couple of smart asses in the audience. Uh, okay, uh, after the count of three, uh, all say your favourite food. So, two, one. Pizza! A very sick sounding man said pizza. <laughs> then, after the count of three, I need all of you to tell me that you love me. So, three, two, one. Love you, Someone said fuck off, it's like Christmas all over again. <laughs> okay, we're going to start our first game, which is called Should Have Said, and for that game I will need Jim, uh, uh, Jim Huckster there, I've already spoken to, and Ed Colley, so if you come to the stage, please. Okay, so what's going to happen in this game is I am uh, Ed and Jim, there you go, <laughs> you've moved the thing, are going to be doing a scene, but after they've... Uh, after I say the phrase, should have said, they have to immediately go back on what they just said. So, for example, Ed, how are you? Oh, very well, thank you. Should have said... I'm crying on the inside. Should have said... I want it to stop. Should have said... I'm great. He sure is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> but first, I will need a location for these two guys to be. Anywhere in the world, no matter how big or how small, where can they be? Pardon? Wigan. Wigan? Oh, God, this is already taking a turn. Any, anywhere other than Wigan, said the train driver. A German POW cap. A German POW cap? Oh, I don't know which is more depressing. No, I mean, I mean like Great Escape style. Great Escape style, okay. So you're, you're, you're both trying to break out of a... Uh, just a jail, I'm going to go for. Just so you have all the horrible Nazi imagery. So you're both trying to break out of jail, should have said, uh, go. Okay, I got the spook. Good, you start digging. It's uh, concrete. Yeah. Come on, you can do it. Should have said. All right, it's gonna take a while. I'll just watch. <laughs> I broke the spoon. It took me a 
It took me three years to convince Big Dave to give me this spoon. Should have said. It took me five years and a lot of hair washing to get the warden to give me this spoon. George, he's a hard man to plead with, but I think I've got a way forward, right? I've actually been digging this secret tunnel the whole time. Oh, Should have said. I've actually got this really nice poster I want to show you. <laughs> Should have said. That is a terrible poster. No one would ever think to even look at it closely. What's this one I don't know. You tell me. Oh my gosh. I know, it's a calendar. Should have said. <laughs> it's an escape route. I double tricked you. Should have said. It's uh, an elevator. I don't know why they put it in here. <laughs> why did you send me to get the spoon? Because it's... Let me check this out, right? Should have said somehow. <laughs> because it's an unreliable... <laughs> Should have said. <laughs> because I painted it on. Oh. I know. <laughs> I just want to dash your hopes at every you turn. Spent, you spent these five years well, Ed. Should have said. You know, I really did do all those murders. <laughs> I, should probably, I should probably get out of this prison. I don't really deserve to be here. Wait, you did the murders? That's it. I'm going to the POW camp. <laughs> and see! <laughs> Always comes back to prisoners of war. <laughs> Every improv we do. <laughs> On that note, our next game, which is called Director. So, so for this, I will need Jack, Tom, and Ed to come up here. <laughs> okay, so in this thing, we are going to create ourselves a film. But as brilliant director that I am, I will have many issues with this film, and I might require some changes. So what I'm going to need from you uh, for the first is uh, some film and TV genres. Anything from the world of film and TV. Even your favourite show can be a... David Lynch drama. David Lynch drama, anything else? Oh, film noir. Cartoon. Film noir, children's cartoon. Okay, that's good. And uh, in order to name this, uh, pff, hello sir in the middle. Hello? Right, um, what's your favourite song? The Final Countdown. The Final Countdown by Europe. And what's your favourite lyric from that? We're heading to Venus is the name of this film. <laughs> so we're heading to Venus. Uh, you will start. You will start this film, and then eventually Tom will join you. But then I shall call cut, and things will happen. So three, two, one. We're heading to Venus. These lead boots are a pain in the ass. <laughs> Your ones, bro. But you're gonna have to train with them now, and then there'll be a breeze on Venus. <laughs> oh, check out that leg workout. Why are we even going to Venus? I want to go to Mars. Uh, All my friends have got on Mars. <laughs> Why don't you let me go on Mars, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> Look here, son. If you want to go play around with your Martian friends, that's on your time. Uh, You're at Venus Guy's house. <laughs> they have a better rocket than us as well. Look, what I can make down payments on is none of your business. <laughs> hey, Venus family, we're gonna have a great time at Mars! Yes. Look how unheavy my shoes are! <laughs> <laughs> Jim, this is a day out with my son. Please stop. Do you know how strong the gravity is on Venus? Are you going to die in like a minute? This is why <laughs> mum left. <laughs> cut. Cut. Right, guys, this is, this is, this is, this is I feel like, I've, I've, I don't know where you have the subplot in. What I'm going to need this to be. I was improvising. I know you were. Is it good No, we're going to need to change, we're going to need to change this. And what I'm going to make this, I'm going to make this a film noir. Okay, it's a film noir, this is what we need. But also, I feel like we need to like, advertise a product just quite heavily because we need the money. So, uh, can anyone uh, suggest something that we could just advertise? Condoms. Condoms, okay, the typical answer for this. <laughs> Anything other than condoms? Tampons. Tampons, okay, so we've got two options. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does someone not want to say dildos as well? We've just completed the trifecta. Pardon? Butt plugs. What did you say? Uh, Lou. Lou. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say Lou. Um, <laughs> So it's a film noir. It's a film noir that promotes Luke. So uh, go ahead, guys. This will be good. <laughs> this was the most dangerous mission of my life, and with me, my son, my stupid incompetent son. But we were gonna make it to Venus. Did you pack the lube, Dad? <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Slip and slide straight out of orbit. <laughs> yeah, that's what we're definitely using it for. That's it. Get yourself nice and greasy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Venus is mad and dangerous. This time of year. I told him a lie, but I was only to make it exciting. I want to be a good dad. I saw my dad was up to something. The blue, the rocket, it didn't make sense. I was suspicious. Hey. 
Hey, Venus is shit this time of year. <laughs> I started with a compliment. I thought that might break the ice. It didn't. <laughs> so, how'd you go to Mars? Yup, it'll be pretty fucking good. <laughs> I'd like to go to Mars one day. Come with me. Meet a beautiful broad, settle down, but that's not the life God had planned out for us. God damn it! Come on, son. We'll move, spacemen. We always have been. <laughs> we'll see you on the far side, chief. Cut. What? I mean, I mean, not, I, mean I mean, brilliant lube salesmanship. But I feel this. I just feel this film might be improved if it's a David Lynch style drama. You know, very kind of, very weird, very kind of, you know. Up itself and full of symbolism. So uh, that, that's good. But what I'm going to need you to do is instead of like, promoting something, because we've got all the money, we're going to need to set this in a different place. So where could this scene to Mars be set? Scene to Venus be set? And don't say Venus. Please. Mars. Mars. From what? Fine. You're already on Mars. But you dream of Venus. Go. <laughs> Last night? Yeah! What? 
was in a bit of a bloodlust, Stephen. Well, I can ma imagine. Oh, look at me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this happens all the time. Yeah, it does. Oh, I'm sorry, Stephen. I've only got a kidney as well. Oh, 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 about that. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's Right, we're going to do that again, but with two different people. So, can I have Andrew and Jim to the stage, please? <laughs> Right, I would like a very serious and sad situation for these two guys to do all their acting in and for me to laugh at their lack of competency. Uh, so a very serious scene, a very serious and sad scene. A breakup in Venice. A breakup in Venice. That sounds like a man who's experienced one of those. <laughs> Anything other than a breakup in Venice. A mother's funeral. In Venice. In Venice. In Venice. <laughs> um, I'm going to say, you're, you're doing a breakup. You're in Venice, but just go on. Well, isn't this lovely? Yeah, um, yeah, we always wanted to come here, didn't we? Yeah, we, we did, and I remember saving up, toiling away, working really hard so we could enjoy this trip together. Yeah, I mean, it was sort of a thing that was going to, we thought, would keep us together. Yeah, 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 repair the, the uh, thing, yeah. yeah. I don't know. What? I think we spent so much on this. They put the money to other places. No, no, right. All, all, all needs to change. I can change. I can. Um, it's too late for change. No, isn't it? It's too late for change. I could do that in this in spandex. <laughs> <laughs> it's. You tried that five times. Well, what's wrong with my? There's not a plie. What's wrong with my plie? <laughs> you just can't commit. I'm not a plie. I can commit like this. this. I'm a fandango man. <laughs> Begin, Stephen. 
<laughs> oh, not that far, I said begin. I'm not going to say it, okay, we'll just go to the wrong way then. The wrong way. <laughs> Take off my shoes. Okay, so here's the boundaries. Basically, you're not allowed out of this fence. <laughs> okay, so what I'll do is I'll run up the front, I'll get the ball, throw it back under my legs, you grab it, and then we'll run to the end. Slam dunk. Come in. Sure. <laughs> then both disrobe and apply condom liberally. <laughs> the right way. Now we're about to have sex, so you should probably put it on. Okay, I'm not sure that was the right way. <laughs> <laughs> Toppers, the wrong way. I'm a condom. <laughs> this is a <laughs> That's the wrong way. There we are. <laughs> Last step, enjoy your sex and be sure to dispose of your condom properly. And then we'll get it goes. I enjoyed the sex. <laughs> Wash it out and hang it up to dry, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> that concludes our presentation. End of scene. <laughs> well, that guy just knows him get sexy tonight at County. <laughs> Stephen, so nude. <laughs> you really can't miss me. Okay. The next game we're going to play is a game called Let's Make a Date. So I will need Jack Maiden to come up here and bring you my pint. <laughs> 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 Mmm, okay. And I will also need uh, Eddie, Andrew and Jim, please. Eddie, Andrew and Jim to come on stage. Now Jack Maiden needs to leave. But while Jack Maiden leaves, I'll explain what we're doing. Jack is going to be on a dating show and uh, try to get with one of these three strapping young gents. But each of them has a, has a bit of a problem. So basically, so like, for example, Eddie, Eddie has an interesting job. What could that interesting job be? Prostitute. He's a prostitute. Anything else? He makes Thomas the tank engines. He makes Thomas the Tank Engine. He is Thomas the Tank Engine. He is Thomas the Tank Engine. I'm going to say, uh, you, make, you make the f horrible fucking show, Thomas the Tank Engine. <laughs> Freakish, ghoulish, a final. Now, uh, Andrew's next up. Andrew. Andrew is obsessed. He's a man obsessed with something, but what's he obsessed with? Sex. Sex. We've, 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 I feel, sir, that we've, we've taken sex as far as it can go. Which is something, looking at who's doing this show, never would have thought possible. <laughs> But anything, Andrew's obsessed with something. The wax model of Winston Churchill. Wax model of Winston Churchill, what did I hear from the other? Cacti. Cacti. He's a man obsessed with trying to hug cacti. Always trying to hug a cactus. What are you talking? And then Jim. Jim is a famous figure uh, throughout history, or he could be made up, just a famous, uh, uh, an interesting person. George W. Bush. George W. Bush. Anything else? Just so he doesn't have to do an accent? Playboy Bunny. Uh, who? <laughs> it's a Playboy Bunny. Sir, I feel you're the man obsessed here. <laughs> Anything else other than a Playboy bunny? Or, uh... Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner. Jim, do you know who Hugh Hefner is? Yeah. Are you sure? That sounded very... Yeah, that sounded very... He has a dressing gown, but he's lecherous. He is lecherous, that is true. Okay, so we'll now call Jack Maiden. Actually, first, do you know who you are? You? Uh, I'm and obsessed with hooking, 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 hugging. hugging cactuses. And Jim? I'm Hugh Hefner. Good. Now we're going to need to get Jack Maiden back into this room. Now, in order to say that, uh, after the count of three, you all have to shout at the top of your voice, "Come back in, you bastard!" So, three, two, one. Come, Come back, back in, you bastard! <laughs> so we do. Now, <clears throat> without further ado, hello and welcome back to Let's Make a Date, the show where no one really wins but we pretend someone does. Okay, hello, and our first contestant here is Mr. Jack Maiden. How are you? There you go. Jack is going to ask our contestants some questions to figure out what kind of person they really are. So question number one, Jack. Well, I'm looking for someone to do my taxes. So where would you take me on my first date? <laughs> hello, um, I think I'd take you to uh, uh, Sodor Island, my favourite place in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Same question, since number two. Okay, well I thought we'd probably do, uh, go down to my local gardening centre, uh, get into the uh, aisle, won't, won't say what for, ruins the game, and then I'll, I'll go over, probably uh, take my shirt off, <laughs> and uh, just give my big old hug. And <laughs> contestant number three, anywhere I can smoke, drink, and liberally wear dressing gowns. <laughs> Someone in the crowd finds it's incredibly sexy. So, uh, Jack, question number two for these fine young bucks. 
Question number two. What are you passionate about in life? That's number one. You've got a, a very uh, disturbing face, haven't you? <laughs> I'd love to use your face. Maybe, maybe I can uh, use it in my project. <laughs> a round, a round face. It's very round. Contestant number two. I'm sorry, what was the question? What are you passionate about? Little pricks. All, all, over. <laughs> just, just all over there. I probably lie down, like all those beds, you know, sharp beds, you lie on my man. Bit of a good old hug. <laughs> and number three, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really committed to wiping out cruel diseases like a, a myxomatosis. <laughs> That's the one rabbits get. <laughs> ah, yeah. Yeah, recognition, always funnier than the law. Um, Jack, would you like to ask one more question? Do you think you've got these people sussed out? Okay, go ahead. Um, I feel like you should have thought of the question. <laughs> what is your, what, what do you do for a living? <laughs> Good question. Um, just as a, as a side, um, are you, uh, are, are you a tank? Because uh, you keep my passion engine <laughs> riding. <laughs> choose, choose me, baby. Baby. What was the question? What do you do for a living? What do I do for a living? I store water. <laughs> I've really exhausted everything I know about this topic. And, uh, <laughs> And uh, um, I work in I uh, I work in human resources. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jack, may I have to try and figure out who each of these men are now? Eddie has a very special job, but what is that job? Is he the fat controller? He's not the fat controller. Is he work with Thomas the Tank? He does indeed work with Thomas the Tank Engine. Very well done. Okay, the next. A uh, polite golf applause there for you. Andrew, a cactus man. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough, because from the way, well, from the, from the way he described it, it sounded like he had sex with them. So I'm going to say he's a cactus man. He's a, no, he just hugs them. Not in a special way. Just hugs the cacti. Just really close. Little pricks all over his body. And um, Jim is a very famous person, but what famous person could Jim be? Is he Peter Rabbit? He's not Peter Rabbit. <laughs> Of that. No, he's a man who works with bunnies, certainly. But, uh, oh, is he um, him? That, he's uh, not Clicky McGee, no. From uh, <laughs> Mice and Men. <laughs> <laughs> no, sadly, Jack, you, you uh, were looking for Hugh Hefner. Jim was Hugh Hefner. <laughs> <laughs> well, very well done, please, for guys to play this game. Okay, for our next game, I'm going to secede control because we're playing a game called Puppet Master. So, me and Ed, come up, Ed. I'm going to be doing a scene, but all my actions will be controlled by Mr. Stephen Catlin. Oh dear. <laughs> He's right. Yeah. So basically, what I'm going to need uh, from you guys is a relationship between Ed and I that's non-familial and uh, non-sexual. Hopefully not. That's very weird. Um, but um, yeah, so I'm going to need a relationship between Ed and I. Drill oh. sergeant and private. Okay. Anything else? Lawyer and client. Lawyer and client. Anyone who's not already in the show. Doctor patient. Doctor patient. Oh, that's pretty good. Anything from this side? Buying a car. Buying a car. Uh, which one do you like? Uh, doctor patient or buying a car is fine. I will go for doctor patient then. So Steve, you to make sure that you can control me. So, yeah. Uh. Ow. <laughs> okay. So, doctor patient. Sound like my dad. Okay, so, so don't, don't pant, Steve. Three, two, one, dog's patient. Oh, so that's the steering wheel. How's the handling on it? I don't know, so I'm supposed to be, you know, testing you for syphilis. <laughs> oh, well, there we go. <laughs> well, um, so, uh, how do we go about this stuff? Well, you know, we go, we go, we go about testing syphilis in a number of ways. First, you need to make sure your hands are clean. So I'm just going to do that by, you know, do I just waving them in the air. No, a good, a good air gets the germs out. <laughs> Wait, yeah, sure, there's a, there's a sink here. No, it's just, you know, uh, who's the doctor here? Who has the degree? <laughs> okay, um, so, yeah. do I just, I thought I was meant to pee. I mean, you can try and pee at something, or, you know, you can, you know, uh, pee in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm a very good doctor, sir. Well, and I feel that if it goes through,
through the flesh, I'll probably have a decent idea of what we've got. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I want you to do this. Okay, well, I'm just gonna... Yeah, there we go. Could you look away? I can't... Well, uh, I mean, I could look away, sir, but you know, then, where would the fun go? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, I was kidding! John! <laughs> I'm one of those prank doctors, you know, you walk in, say you've got like, you know, <laughs> oh, I don't know, lesions on your body, and then... I just want to be healed, sir! <laughs> you want to be healed in this day and age? Well, people like a pranks. Lovely pranks. You're on YouTube! Please, just give me some antibiotics! <laughs> More like anti try this. <laughs> <laughs> and sleep. Anti try this. I do a creative writing. <laughs> okay, the next game we're going to play is called ABC. So for the first of these, I'll need Jim and Eddie to come to the stage, please. Okay, now in this game, we're going to. Ed, Eddie and Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy? Of course. Like you're a child of power. I'm going to do a scene, but every sentence they each of them says will start with the next letter of the alphabet. So I will need a, a crisis for Eddie and Jim to solve. Just any kind of crisis, doesn't matter if it's big, doesn't matter if it's small, but you know. It's a revolution. It's a revolution, says the, says the old man at the back. <laughs> Anything else? Any other kind of problem these two could solve? Set fire to the kitchen. Set fire to the kitchen. What was that about then? STD. STD. We've already covered that. Sorry, I've got a man to piss in my hand. <laughs> Uh, sorry, what did you say? I'm set fire to the kitchen. So you both set fire to the kitchen, and I will need a letter of the alphabet there for them to start from. Yes. I heard Q the loudest, which is probably because I'm standing here, but I heard Q, so you're going to. So, house on fire, let Q, three, two, one, let's go. Quite big fire over here. Really? Well, you could say that. My hand is on fire, if you can't tell. <laughs> Jeez! Your hand is really on fire! Thanks for telling me! Could you put it out? Understand this, I may be a fireman, but I'm currently off hours. So don't you go expecting me to put out any fires, Sonny Jim. Ah! Whoa! Now my hands are on fire! Um... Xenophobia! I'm just, I'm so on fire that I can't even think right! But yeah! We're so on fire! High five! <laughs> Sounds ah! More fire! Ah! This is incredible! Because of the fire, I have lost my arm. <laughs> can't you just let me have this one, Jim? I just wanted to be set on fire one time. Don't you see? Every time you set, try to set yourself on fire, I'm the one who gets hurt. Every time this happens, you just, just shit on my, my, me. You just shit on me, Tim. <laughs> First things, that only happened once, and it was because I was scared of your fire. Go for it. Shit on my hands, Jim. Go on. <laughs> this is what it's come to now, has it? <laughs> How about? How about we sort the fire out first? I think that this is more important than, than this fire. <laughs> just, just, just look at this now, my foot's on fire! My concern cannot be okay. It's kind of you to care about me, Jim. You care about me, you just care about your foot and the fact that it's on fire. Look, look, you're inflammable, doesn't matter. To you're not flammable, it doesn't matter to you. I am very much flammable. I'm made of paper. My, my, just because I'm fire boy and you're paper boy, we always do what you want to do. Never do what fire boy wants to do. Never do what you want to do. How many orphanages have we burnt down? <laughs> Against my advice. Oh, I know, like six, but I wanted to do at least ten. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please, remember me as a hero. Quiet now, Jim. You're going to die now. That's <laughs> me! What has the theme tonight been? Doing things with people's hands? Weird. I'm going to play that game again, but with me and Tom Clements over here. 
Not even clapping anymore, just one man shouting at you. One lone. Right, Tom and I are going to need a job to do, but I'm going to ask you, sir, and I want you to do a job that doesn't involve sex in any way. Oh, Tell us. Train driver. Train driver. Train driver that fucks people. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> this is a celibate train driver. <laughs> the innocent suggestion of a child. We knew you had it in you. Please. So, uh, Tom and I are both train drivers, but we'll need a letter of the alphabet to start off. C. C. Anything else? S. C or S. I'm going to start with C because it's on the other side of the alphabet. So, uh, three, two, one. Ah, oh, can't you see how good this train is going? Don't you just love it? Driving trains was always my passion as a child. I did it illegally, but I did it nonetheless. <laughs> and now I'm driving a train now. Um, <laughs> thought I'd be to be milking a cow. <laughs> I'll just use the joystick. Uh, engines, fire, screaming passengers in the back that you've forgotten to break for the last three stops. But what a train journey we're having. <laughs> Fuck me, they're terrified. <laughs> I mean, if I didn't know any better, they might think that we're holding them to ransom, and if their families don't pay up, we're crashing this fucking train! God, they're screaming for! God! He'll say he won't. He won't, because we're probably going to just destroy this train. Help! Help! I never told my dying dad that I loved him! <laughs> Passenger banter. That's the kind of thing they say. <laughs> I've just had a call in, right, from the police who've said that what we're doing is a uh, crime. <laughs> so I think what we should do is probably, you know, call a witness just to, just to show what's going on. No, just tell them that we have killed a witness, but we won't actually kill a witness. Because, you know, that'll just kind of give us a stronger negotiating position. Yeah, but killing witnesses is why I came into train driving in the first place. So, um, look, I know you want to, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you should. I mean, I really just was doing this for paying conditions. I, no, Dave, stop. Think about what you're doing. My mind's telling me no. Uh, but my body, uh, my body's telling me yes. No, listen to your mind. Your mind knows what it's doing. Your body's always wrong. Do you remember when it thought that you should just run naked through a bar singing I'm the king of the trains? Oh, only you and the police thought that was wrong. Let me kill this uh, Please, please consider what you're doing. Because the judge also thought it was wrong, as did every other train company you have tried to get a job with. Yeah? That's because you, your dad is the fucking CEO, and he's not happy about this, by the way, that you, you know, got off. Wouldn't I just shoot one limb? <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> really? You think just, just shooting one limb is going to compensate for the thrill of killing a man? <laughs> I'm not saying you should, but I'm saying it's exciting. Okay? Sure, I think you shoot my own uh, arm. <laughs> to be honest, if you just shot your own arm, that might work. Oh, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, George, it's smart. It's a deep wound. It's a deep wound. It's a slick wound. Very in pain, are you? <laughs> well in pain, mate. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Xylophone! I'll play the emergency xylophone <laughs> and see if all that will make you feel any better. Is that the sound of the xylophone? <laughs> Does it feel any better? You think God will forgive us for this crime? Sounds no. <laughs> We're both terrible men and we get what we deserve. Ah, oh, shit balls. <laughs> Box. And see! <laughs> Hands. So, chalk that one up to a win. We're going to play a game now called Standing Sitting Lying, and for that I will need uh, Tom, Eddie, and, uh, sorry, Ed, I mean, and Andrew. One of you will need a chair. <laughs> okay, so in this game, basically, one of these guys will have to be standing the entire time, uh, uh, like Tom is, and like Andrew is. One of them will have to be lying down the entire time, and one of them will have to be uh, sitting down. So, we need a, we need another... Uh, thing for them to solve. What uh, what kind of uh, what kind of event can happen in your back garden? Any kind of a murder. 
a murder, okay? But I feel we've covered that with the brilliant arm shooting scene. Having a barbecue. Having a barbecue? Uh, anything else than having a barbecue that happens? Neighbour's cat. I, I like that. So the neighbour's cat's got in. Uh, one of you has to be standing at all times, one of you has to be sitting down, one of you has to be lying. Take it away. Look at that bastard. That bastard cat's in my flipping the, 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 the flower bed. That's it. Oh, it's shit. Oh, look at that. Oh, just now. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just leave it. Just No, listen. Just leave it be. It'll go in a bit. Oh, you can probably. I mean, uh, <laughs> it always. Oh, 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 Sideways or perpendicular in time. So I need um, I need something that uh, Tom and Ed can be doing together, not sex. So can we cover this? You're better than me. You put your hands up, sir. But you were going to say it anyway. Okay. So we need uh, just something that Tom and Ed can be doing together. Just an ordinary, just an ordinary foreplay. Foreplay. <laughs> anything else? Anything other than foreplay? Awkward family reunion. Awkward fa I like an awkward family. Well, I don't like an awkward family reunion. I've had many in my time. But um, okay, it's an awkward family reunion. Uh, without further ado, go. So, uh, you're all right at university, are you? What year are you in now? Like third? F fourth. I oh. had to redo first year three times. Go. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> so, uh, how's your mother keeping? Dead, still. Oh, yes. Go. It's like you don't even read my newsletter. <laughs> uh, oh, is that that kind of piece of toilet paper you send me every four months? Yeah, I enjoy writing it. Go we on. cut back three weeks to the writing of Ed's newsletter. Oh boy, dear everyone in my Holly, family. Holly, we got that newsletter ready yet? I'm the editor in chief. Come on, uh, right uh, faster, got done right faster. I what? Am... You got an awkward family reunion to get to or something? I do. I'm just putting everything here. The family's all dead, apart from you, Uncle Tom. Why don't you come round to the house? Well, some nice times. We go back in time 15 years to explain why Ed's doing a weird Christopher Walken style accent. <laughs> Chrissy W, you oh, boy! Oh, hey! I'm... <laughs> I'm also playing your uncle, but I feel this is gonna have an effect on you. I wanna grow up to be like you, Chrissy W! R remember, just Believe in yourself, I guess. We go forward seven years to see how the accent has affected Ed at school. Why won't people love me, please, sir? <laughs> Will you go to prom with me? I'm your chemistry teacher. <laughs> Frankly, I'm offended by your voice. Oh, dang. I'm gonna cry in the cupboard now. <laughs> we go forward to the end of the chemistry teacher's day and see him telling the story to his patient wife. <laughs> Another kid asking me to prom. I mean, I know I've got these sweet arms. <laughs> and I we go back in time to see how he got such sweet arms. <laughs> right, you 
weights are doing no good. You'll have to lift me. <laughs> Andre the Giant! <laughs> <laughs> we flash forward to prom and see who the chemistry teacher has taken. Oh boy, I'm sorry. Andre the Giant! <laughs> <laughs> That's no good, you'll have to lift me. You came back! <laughs> Andre? You what? I asked you to the prom a week ago. I already had a date. <laughs> oh, gonna cry again. Cry. We follow Ed, and two hours later see what he's doing while he's ignoring prom. Under the chair is where I live now. <laughs> Hope my family can find me. Where's Dad Ma? Come on, Dad Ma. Young, the place, come on home. We flash forward back to where we started, and they're having their family reunion. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to use that, I'm afraid. No, my parents killed themselves because of the voice. <laughs> they couldn't take it anymore. Yes, they did. They did. The only reason uh, I'm still alive is because I'm deaf in this ear. So. We flash back to see how the uncle got deaf in one ear. I wonder how much I can physically hurt myself. No! <laughs> oh, I was about to do that! <laughs> I'm deaf in this ear! Oh! Yeah! <laughs> we flash forward to see his uncle and his new friend have fun adventures where they just injured themselves. <laughs> okay, okay, so you get this chainsaw and just yeah. tuck like that a little bit into my arm, okay? Yeah, yeah. okay, okay. <laughs> go on, go on, go on, go on! <laughs> oh my god! Ah! We go back to the family reunion. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm a very wild twenties. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're still alive and kicking. What yeah. happened? Is that a metal arm? Uh, yes. Doom, doom. Um, <laughs> I am part man, part machine. Um, oh. I'm actually a crime fighter now. Right. I suppose we cut to Tom Clements fighting crime. His dream. My main qualification for this is the fact that I do have a robot hand, so... <laughs> you got the job. Oh. Great. Where are the criminals? I am. Oh. <laughs> we, we go for a final time back to this family reunion. Say, could I be your sidekick and help you fight crime? Um, yes, I suppose so. What's your main problem? Well, you can take my arm if you want. We could be. I could be armless boy. And you could be metal half man. <laughs> What's your special power? I look a bit like you. <laughs> and we flash forward two years when they've been fighting crime and they sing the theme tune that they sing as they beat up all the bad guys. <laughs> One last thing! Chemistry! Oh, oh, oh. Happy times! <laughs> happy times! We had at the awkward family reunion and now we fight crime! Crime! <laughs> and sing. That brings us to the end of our CCC. Thank you very much for coming out. Uh, can I get a round of applause for all our performers, please? Uh, I've been Dave Duncan. Um, uh, come to this in two weeks' time, where our compere will be the wonderful Ed Collie. Uh, I will see you then. So, goodbye. Thank you very much for coming out.